Hello everyone, welcome to this course which I would like to call a historical introduction to philosophy. As some of you might know, this is a course originally intended to be taught face-to-face -face at uh, the Cathedral of St. Joseph for the Catholic Faith Defenders of the Diocese of Tagbilaran. But I opted to shift giving this uh, course online due to some changes in my schedule and therefore uh, this course will be fully online this will be self-paced that means that it is up to you on how to how much time you'd like to spend for this course each week and whether you'd really finish this or not okay so for this brief section or we have four parts first we will be talking about the course itself and then we'll be talking about philosophy itself and then a few words about historical thinking right because this is a historical introduction to philosophy and then finally we'd end with some brief uh, sketches of the entire history of philosophy so this again is the name of the course a historical introduction to philosophy so i think this is uh, I think I took this from the subtitle, I think, of the book, The Great Conversation. Uh, it has the subtitle, A Historical Introduction to Philosophy, and I think that describes my approach in teaching this course. So, by the way, although this course was originally uh, given specifically to the organization, this actually is open for everyone okay so you're not restricted to finish this course even if you are not formally a member of uh, cfd so this is for everyone who wants to learn about uh, philosophy from somebody who also likes philosophy which is myself and by the way i'd like to apologize for the audio because uh, i'm giving this course while walking while doing my daily routine of walking every morning so I think this is all I can do about the audio. So I hope you can still learn much about philosophy from this, even even despite this uh, not very good audio. Okay, so let's proceed with the first section, namely the course itself. Right, so I'll just uh, talk about the course description and then I'll end this uh, part. First, our focus will be on the milestones, right, of philosophy. So there are different approaches to the course of an introduction to philosophy right you can uh, focus on just a few texts taken from the classical uh, the, the the canon of uh, the most popular philosophers such as uh, Descartes, Nietzsche right Aristotle etc so you can take that approach wherein we'll be only focusing on a few of the top philosophers in history but you can also give a problems based approach right because there are many problems in philosophy and you can divide your course based on that but this one this course of ours will be divided based on specific milestones uh, i think there are 250 250 milestones listed in the book by dr gregory basham namely I think the title is the philosophy book don't worry all of this is found in the course syllabus and the course syllabus the link to the course syllabus is in the description of this video all right so our priority if we have to compromise our priority for this course at least will be breadth right and not so much depth although we have to go to some depth and some issues but we cannot do that for everything right because the history of philosophy is very rich and so at some points we have to focus on breadth especially when such a particular period is not within my field of expertise all right so when we speak about the formation of cfd in particular this i think would serve as a foundation for the entire formation program of cfd because cfd as you may know is an organization right called uh, the Catholic Faith Defenders which is intended to which intends to 
uh, evangelize, right? And to explain and defend the Catholic faith. And this uh, mission of the organization uh, requires some theoretical and Uh, and practical training, right? For example, you have to learn about logic, right? Because this would definitely involve some argumentation. So, argumentation requires the use of logic, and logic is a philosophy. So, CFDs must learn philosophy, right? To make sure that they will not be using fallacies in their arguments, and to be able to spot the errors in the structures of the arguments of the opponents. That they will be debating. For example, we also must learn about theology because uh, it is the because apologetics itself, which is the uh, field of defending a position, specifically the Catholic faith in this uh, context, is a is a branch or a subdiscipline of theology, right? And scripture in particular, right? This is another field which. CFDs must study and history itself. All these presuppose uh, philosophy as a foundation, right? And also the practical one, uh, apologetics and spirituality. These ones are most fruitful when done by somebody who is already philosophically trained, right? So rigorous philosophical training could really aid our. Uh, pursuit of, especially especially when we talk about uh, masters will be studying them because personally I'm a Carmelite so I'm also fascinated by the works of uh, Teresa of Avila of Saint Edith Stein and John of the Cross right these great spiritual masters wrote about tissues which are at least partly philosophical but entirely philosophical but aided with the light of Christian and Catholic revelation right so that is the description of the course again I repeat this is wholly self-paced right so although I'll be posting uh, parts of this regularly you do not have to watch that part immediately right as I post it take this at your own pace and You can take pauses at some point, but just make sure that you will be able to fulfill the course requirements about which I'll be talking about in the next video. Thank you.